Welcome to Hub City Spokes. This season we're talking with millennials in the 806. And today we have Chris Franken, Product and Service Coordinator for Breed Love Food, Inc. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about Breed Love. So Breed Love is a, <laughs> I'm going to try to make this as brief as I can, but it's a, a nonprofit food processor. So it's a commercial size food processor. And we specialize in making food for humanitarian relief, for nutrition programs, for disaster relief. And so we partner with entities like USAID, the United States Agency for International Development, uh, USDA, the World Food Program, and other nonprofits like World Vision and Samaritan's Purse to, to get food to people who need it all over the world. And so we've been around for about 25 years. And in those 25 years, we've shipped about 2 billion meals to over 70 different countries, all right here from Lubbock. Wow. So it's, it's pretty exciting. And we, we get to do a lot of great work and we have a lot of really good support from the community here. Yeah, it definitely seems to be mission oriented for sure. It is, it is. That's awesome. So tell us a little bit about your background, how you came to know Breed Love. Sure, uh, long story short, I was born in, in Colombia, South America and my parents were missionaries there. And so I grew up there until I was about 10 and there's a civil war in the, in the country, very, very rough situation. So we had, to, we had to flee the country pretty quickly. And my grandparents lived in Lubbock. So we, we left there, came to Lubbock, obviously didn't know English, you know, a complete culture shock and, and I, I still remember, you know, I grew up in the Andes Mountains, so I'd never been out of the mountain at all. I had no idea what that was like. And right before we got here, somebody told me, you know, this, this isn't the Andes Mountains. Yeah. <laughs> you, can see, you can see for miles. I mean, there's, it's flat, it's great. And I had no idea what that was gonna be like. So flying in, coming in from this plane from the Andes, never seen anything really like it. And we land. I, I get out and I, I could not believe my eyes. I, you know, I'd, I'd grown up with mountains all around me. This was completely new. And so it, it, was, it was truly culture shock coming from a different language, a different country to the US. So learned English, got into middle school and high school here in Lubbock. And I had the opportunity to go to Liberty University on a full ride up in Virginia. And so I did that and, and I thought I was headed for politics for DC and during college I, I had a little bit of, of, of a taste of, of what that world is like and I uh, decided that that was really not what I wanted to, to be in and so I got I got a, a job offer here at Breed Love they were they were expanding what they were doing and for a long time Breed Love focused on one particular grant that they got from the government and so with new leadership a new team a young team they wanted to expand what they do. And so this was a, a business development position and, and they, they offered me the job and I didn't really think twice about it. Yeah. So, so when you made that decision to come back to Levy, you'd obviously already been here. <laughs> so yes. what, what were you thinking when you accepted that job? And, and I'm assuming Lubbock was part of the decision in making that choice to come back. What was something you were kind of thinking about whenever you were making that decision? Absolutely. It, Obviously, the Lubbock that I came back to four years down the road was different than when I left. And I think I got a chance to visit Lubbock before I made my decision. And that was really an eye-opening time for me. You know, when I was in college, all I was thinking about was, you know, the job, the future, but getting a chance to come here and, and see the community and how much it had grown and changed in just four years. I think it really gave me that same excitement that that new job did of coming back to a place that was growing, that was focused on on expanding and that it was just getting better and better and better. And and it was absolutely part of the decision. And obviously there was some community here for me, but I also knew that I was going to come to a place where I could create an even a, even better community, build more friendships and, and relationships. So, it yeah, works. it seems like every step every chapter of our life, right, is 
we may be in the same place, but it's different in some way or another. You know, you're making new friends or you're in a job versus in school and it just, your environment changes. Even if you're in the same city, it's kind of interesting. But, so what's something about your job that you really love doing in Lubbock? Like, can you talk about the business community in Lubbock? Sure. I think as a, as a young professional coming into a economy like Lubbock is, is pretty exciting because, you know, I, I think a city is like a business. If, if you're diversifying your sources of income, you're going to be pretty well protected from the ups and downs of the economy. And so I have friends that live in a lot of other cities that, you know, with these huge downturns, they're losing their jobs left and right. And then they have a really hard time finding other jobs. And so coming into a place that, you know, I know that if one, one sector of the market goes down, even if it's the one that I'm in, I still have opportunity. I have really the capability of, of supporting my family and, and continuing to, to make progress in my, in my career. So as far as looking at it from a young professional, it's, it's an incredible place to be. And especially during this COVID crisis, seeing how just the city of Lubbock came to the aid of, of businesses, of individuals that were really affected. And they went so much farther than the federal government, than the state government. And so to be able to have that community, I think that's, that's such a benefit, whether you're in the workforce or you're coming here to start a business. It's, it's a, really a no brainer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What do you guys like to do for fun, you and your, your friends or your family? I obviously grew up in the mountains. I love hiking. I love the outdoors. So any chance that I get to go either hunting or fishing or backpacking, I take it. So that's, that's, really, that's really an outlet. Uh, anything to do with working at, the, at a ranch or anything like that, we, we try to do that as well. And I love anything that's a sport. If it's got a, a ball, uh, count me in. So, Man, we, you're in the perfect <laughs> place for all of those things. We're yeah. like so close to the mountains to go skiing or camping yes. or whatever. And there's great hunting up here and awesome opportunity to get outdoors and everything. And then obviously you've got Texas Tech football or basketball. So you're like set. You landed like right oh. where you like all the things that you love. I, it's, it's a great place. And I think you can talk about quality of life, really. And it's, you know, the the... The economic part of it is is one aspect of it, but you know you're at work for a certain amount of time. You know I made the decision that I didn't want to sit in traffic for two to three hours a day, extra every day, and instead of being with my family. You know, and, and so to be able to be somewhere where I can really use all the time that I have, and whether that's being outdoors or being with people, you know, just enjoying life. It's pretty exciting and it, it just keeps getting better. I feel like every every time I, I drive down a road, I see something new that's there and it, it's that's ex, that's an exciting place to be. You know, it's continuing to grow and, and there's people at work every day working really hard to make it a better place. So that's, yeah, it works. <laughs> so if someone were asking, maybe they're considering moving back here, what would you, what would you tell them about Lubbock? I'd say, Anywhere you're at, you're at, life is going to be life. You know, you're going to have to, to do the same things every day, no matter if you're, you know, at the beach or in the plains or in, in the mountains. And so it's really about the community that you're around, and it's about really being able to make those daily, just everyday things special and worth it and be somewhere where you can really – enjoy what you what you have and, and be able to to give back to a community that when there are hard times you know that they're going to also be there to to have your back absolutely time is precious and we don't yeah. we don't get any more of it for absolutely. sure so if someone's wanting to know more about Brie love or wanting to help in some way how can they do that they can go to our website at breedlove.org uh, they can really find us on GuideStar, any other place where you can look at nonprofits. And I'll say this, it's, 
it's a, a really great place to work. And you know, the, you have the mission, but then you also get to be exposed to all these facets of business that someone that's starting a career or even in the middle may not even be exposed to. And, and I'll, I'll use even me as an example. When I was first came on there, I was brought on to, to vet and coordinate with, with possible business and uh, distribution partners. And over the last several years, that role has grown into from direct sales to business development to project management to really key business decisions within the company that I think a lot of young professionals don't get a chance to do. And so that, those are opportunities that, that I'm very thankful for and, and I don't think I could have found them anywhere else, really. Well, we're so. glad you're here for sure. And someone should have told you when you got off that plane that you're on the mountain. You're sitting at 3,200 yes. feet elevation. <laughs> so don't worry, there there is a mountain up here and you're at the top of it. This is what the top of the mountain looks like. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks, Chris. We really yes. appreciate it. Well, thank you. For more stories like Chris, check out podcast.lubbockeda.org. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.